Strong community is a key driver in ensuring public health. And as the APHA annual meeting looks to make health a priority for our nation, it's community efforts that will help us get there. To discuss more, we're delighted to be joined by incoming APHA president. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. So I know your background will drive a little bit your mission as president. Tell me about that. So I've actually been in public health since I was 19 years old, before I even properly had my degree, which I received at age 26. Um, and so I started out in the field that we would probably now call reproductive justice, um, uh, based on the community. First of all, the university community, and then um, in Monmouth County, where I grew up in New Jersey. Um, when I attended um, Temple University for my Master of Public Health, I was working in Philadelphia in all of the surrounding counties um, doing on the ground health educator work, community health education um, around uh, many topics including what we now call STIs. Um, and that work has really informed how I move forward and in fact informed why I also went on to become a physician in my 30s because while I was in those communities we saw the emergence of Kaposi's sarcoma, pneumocystis carinii, which we came to know certainly as being um, markers for what we ended up calling HIV uh, and, and initially AIDS. So, so um, I think that's where it started from. Certainly, um, I also come from a family that's very rooted in community service, so seeing and engaging in that all my life, but then adding on top of that the experiences that I've had. Uh, in my in my youth, I would say. <laughs> when we think about the HIV epidemic back then, COVID, all those years later, community engagement was so important. So tell me how Reach Up really tries to achieve that. There are lots of shiny and new approaches, right? Everybody loves innovation, and and we do too. But we do have some tried and true tra tactics that have worked for us. And so um, all of our um, staff are hired from within the communities that we serve. Um, many of our staff are multilingual, bilingual or multilingual, because again, reflecting our communities. Um, and they range, the staff ranges from our community health educators, our outreach workers, to our, our doulas who are present um, with the family before, during, and after birth. And they actually conduct home visits. Um, we also have a full nursing staff, again, all people from the community, um, who engage in home visits once the baby is born for up to two to three years. We have an entire segment of um, our entity that is focused on the fathers, right? So we're really servicing the family as a way to really promote infant matern and maternal health. Um, I think the difference for us and the benefit for the community is that the work that we, the services that we offer them are free. We receive funding, we apply for funding, you know, we do the same thing that other community-based organizations do, nonprofits, but we use that funding to provide all of those services for two to three years for each family for free. Clearly building trust is important for that community engagement and for Reach Up, you have got people in the community and that helps a tremendous amount. If you had to give advice to other health professionals about how to build that trust, what would you say? Yeah, um, I, I don't, think that that necessarily has changed. Um, I, I think it's important to um, be in the community, right? Either you live there, you frequent there, you worship there. Mm -hmm. um, to attend any town halls that the community is having, you will always hear the community's needs then, right? Regardless of what uh, the, the city council or that particular commission might be saying. Um, and I think that situating yourself, your actual physical offices space, or maybe your mobile unit in the community helps. So I think all of those things begin to build trust if they see you in the community. And it's, so then it's not a they, it's we, right? Oh, I just saw you in the grocery store. Oh, I just saw you in church. What is it that you do? What are the services you offer? And then, and then that's how you begin to build that linkage. And that is why we purposefully hire folks from our communities. And how do you think building in the communities and having it built across the country makes health a top priority? I actually feel that the community engaged work, community respect for the community, um, is actually the very basis, the very foundation for all of our work, including the work that we do at universities, right? I'm also a, 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 prof a university professor, um, but without having that community link why are we doing the research? And who are we disseminating the research to to help 
who? The community, right? So I really think that it is the framework, it's the foundation upon which all of public health is built to be able to connect with, with um, your families within your community at that level. And I think that message really resonates here especially. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>